Let's go for another game. They suspect nothing. I, I'm pretty sure I forgot what it about. It seems like a narration, like kind of like mini games, adventure type of thing. I have no idea. It's just that it's it's better to just go in and just like expect nothing. Cause, uh, I don't know. I guess it will be like sort of like fun uh, narration uh, uh, game, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. But it's from Oculus Studios, so I can tell that... Uh, oh, CodeSync, wait. I know CodeSync. They, they did something for Quest too. Shit, I forgot though. Ah, whatever. Oh, wow. Um... Okay. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Hello? Can they hear me? Right here. Attention new applicants. Welcome to the robot city of Arcadia. Helping to rebuild the planet destroyed by humankind. Ah. The central Great processing event. unit will open shortly. In the meantime, please register online and take a photo for inspection. The system's idiot-proof. Even a human could use it. <laughs> we like to have a joke here. Ah. I will now read the city regulations in no particular order. <clears throat> Rule 7. New citizens must register online and upload a recent photograph. Apologies for those who are squeamish, but you will need to use a touch screen. <laughs> Set. <laughs> That's more appropriate. A reminder of Rule 7. Registration must be completed online. Okay. Come your tits. It's a bit weird because the controller is not in the same position that I have, kinda. Right? Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. Huh? Like, huh? Okay. Well. Well, I'll close the window because it's it will be annoying. <laughs> Fucking st storms in Paris. <laughs> Are you Gucci, 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 Gucci? Okay. I guess I'll just go. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please check your appearance and limb stability before taking your photo. He's not even moving. Except for the head. I mean, that's the go mechanics, so whatever. Let's just. Whoa. To Facebook? <laughs> okay. What the hell? Attention. The central processing unit is now open. Please bring your intentionizer and report for mandatory human screaming. Screaming? <laughs> human screening. What's happening? <laughs> Weird, weird introduction. <laughs> Hello. Ahem, widget. Congratulations. Outsiders seldom visit Arcadia. <laughs> especially none so evolved. I'm Nereza Schultz from the Human Detection Division. Before we can grant you residency, I have a few routine questions. One, do you have any non-standard components? Such as an iron wheel, <laughs> brass balls, or a heart of gold. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good answer. Wait. How bright you are. I didn't pick anything. Two. Are you bringing any baggage with you today? Such as clothes, spare parts, or a grim awareness of your own mortality? <laughs> where's, where's my controller? Up here. A second refutation. What the hell? Splendid. 
And finally, are you a human? What the hell is happening? Staining? How unsuspicious. And so your results are inconclusive. Pity. I'm afraid you require further analysis. So report to the scrapyard. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll steam through, being such a smart, genuine robot. Fuck, I can barely steal anything here. Christ. Yeah, I, I guess there. Uh, also, I guess this is a loading screen or something. Oh, it's weird, okay. Ah! I mean, hi! Just testing my vocal mod. Hi! Arr! <laughs> I'm the foreman, Axel. Welcome to the yard. I know what you're thinking. That guy's huge, sturdy, fearless. And you'd be correct. But how about you? Feeling positive? Pumped? Fully charged? I can't even trust. What's the point of it? Hmm. Stoic. No nonsense. I like your energy. You'll be working at four stations today to check your fortitude and motor skills. So clean your bearings, fix your circuits, and take your pick. Oh, and before I forget, meet Patches. He'll keep track of your score and test results. Patches only works here part-time. He's studying to become a billboard. <laughs> okay. Humans are famously work shy. Given even the most menial task, a human will complain or pretend to have a human virus. Here, you'll be working alongside the city's most industrious instrument, the crane. Remember, you can recenter your omnidirectional pointer bot anytime by holding the home button. The headset is kind of like fucking closing on my cheeks, like it's. Painful today for some reason. So I can't wear it. I know what you're thinking. Which audacious robot built stack housing with rubber stilts? This Let's just go. I'm like a little bit confused what, what's going on like around me. <laughs> and, uh... How's the view? On a clear day, you can see six miles of beautiful wasteland in every direction. For this test, you'll be operating the crane to recycle runaways and destroy defective units. To begin, tilt the controller to move the crane. Steer the magnet over here to this spot. Okay. At least that's working, kinda. Great! You're a natural. Maybe. I wasn't watching. Next, press the trigger to lower the magnet. Grab that runaway unit right there. And drop it back in recycling. We want to keep these guys. Don't worry, they've been recoded. Bye bye. These guys can't feel <laughs> anything except endless, tiresome joy. <laughs> now watch out for these guys. They're defective. Click the touchpad to drop the magnet and smash them. Touchpad. Don't feel bad. Uh, okay. Well, oh, that's. Get lost, you. You can collect or smash multiple units at once. Just remember to separate the different types. Get both stuck to the magnet and, uh, you're in trouble. Finally, watch out for any gold units. If you manage to drop a gold unit in recycling, you'll receive a short multiplier boost. Finally, keep an eye on your timer. This guy. Great! Okay. Ready to rock? Yeah, I guess. Uh... Shit. 
Komm hier! Ach, wild. Concrete effort. Great A. Hmm, that's items to modify my head or something. Leaderboard. Is there every oh, okay no, it's just that. <laughs> hey, return to the next one or something, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, great start. Widget, which I'm assuming is a nickname because uh, it's kind of lame. By now, How dare you? Probably figured out what we do here: recycle junk and fortify Arcadia. Okay. It's been a hundred years since the cataclysm, but those humans—they're still out there, watching, waiting, planning their attack. Speaking of unpleasant and violent surprises, we should crack on with your next assignment: pick a tunnel. Don't forget, you can head back to central processing anytime by clicking the arrow in front of you. Ah, uh, I know. kept dogs as pets because they thought they were funny. Nowadays, maintaining Whoa. a monstrous eating machine is dangerous work. For this job, you'll be working with Sparky, clearing the bugs from the backyard. <laughs> okay. Watch your step. This pit belongs to the mightiest eating machines in Arcadia. Today, you'll be feeding Sparky, our youngest and uh, liveliest pet. <coughs> this is what? a hardware bug. Tilt the controller to move Sparky. Okay. Then press the trigger Ooh. for a quick jump. Then. Or hold for a huge bite. Keep an eye out for different bugs. Um, yum, yum. These yellow bugs are everywhere. Eat them to score. Watch out for the red ones. Sparky hates them. They make him all wobbly. Gold bugs are Sparky's favorite. Grab a gold bug and Sparky will go into a feeding frenzy. Like... That. There he goes. During a feeding frenzy, Sparky will move faster, and bugs are worth double points. Uh oh. Red what is this? Don't run near that guy. He's crouching. Don't worry. He'll tire him. 
I crashed it. I didn't even realize. You're unstoppable. A plus. Let's see other hmm. games, I guess. <laughs> it's just like this. It's just it seems like a bunch of mini games in that Two game. down. Good job. I'm glad my humongous torso is so inspiring. Is that right? Tell me. You ever seen a human? I can't just. What's the point? Too terrified to speak, huh? I understand. Because they're soft, uh. squidgy, supported by a rigid inner frame like an eel or a corn dog, with angle grinders for hands that could cut me in half. And you, of course. Probably more you. What next? I feel like when you have this decision set, you, 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 you need to make, it's not that you have to like choose, it's just, I think it's the head movement, maybe it's that, but it's like no one told me so. Oh, it's just crappy art, okay. Oh, I guess we'll return then. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... On your head. Nice coat hanger. As everyone knows, humans are squeamish and faint at the sight of organs. It's time to prove your mettle by performing a series of basic operations. Okay. Well, well. <laughs> this is the operating theater where you'll be performing surgery. Pick the right Flash. instrument, extract the right organ, then drop it in the right bin. Then make sure you remember what everything's called. I named the tools myself. And, uh, had to invent a fuel or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is being an eye today. Check out the instructions on the board in front of you. Use the Wingler. On the Alberoid. 
What? The top row is the surgical instrument. The bottom row is the organ you'll want to extract. Oh, I've uh, forgotten which one is the wingler. The instruments are on your left. Take a look. The nurse knows. He'll nod when you've got the right one. Press the trigger to grab it. Next, you'll want to figure out which organ is the alveroid. Turn to your patient and look at the exposed innards. Your patient will nod when you found the right organ. Great! Press the trigger. Oh, Finally, shit. we need to dispose of that thing. The organizer's in front of you with three bins. Find the alveroid bin. Press the trigger to drop it. Okay. Great. Try to remember the names and what lives where, because the nurse, patient, and organizer won't immediately help you. Okay. New patient, new instructions. This time, the nurse and patient will be in standby for the first few seconds. Off you go. Use the thief on the spot. Great. Now, extract the spleech. Great. Now find the spleech bin. That's it. Finally, Seems watch like... out for any gold-plated patients. The nurse, patient, and organizer won't help. But you'll be handsomely rewarded for every stage you correctly perform. Okay, time for the real thing. It seems like it's a memory you know game. What? I'm gonna wait outside. I think. And surgerize! Use the screaming dawn on the anterior stem. Whee! I'm that way. Use the screaming dawn on the thief. Isometric ninny hammer on the thief. Ah, oh, damn it. Shit. Oh, no. Use the isometric ninny hammer on the hallux. Good work. Arcadia is safe for another day. Do you know the most dangerous creature in the world? So, like that. That's right. Ah, uh, okay. So it's just right cat, you, cat the movement. Japanese Thunderwolf. One sneeze and it's lights out. If you were thinking humans, they're third after the Crushosaurus. Final test. Then you're officially a citizen. No. Let's see your game face. That's terrifying. Tone it down. Take it away. <laughs> Let's see that last you one. know, humans are sullen creatures with no sense of adventure. For this <laughs> job, you'll be salvaging valuable material from a pit filled with deadly thermionic crabs. <laughs> I'm just joshing. It's not that valuable. <laughs> Welcome. 
Welcome to the slag heap. I know, right? What a beautiful mess. It's your job to dig out salvage and dump it in the right furnace. Simple. Uh -huh. Point the laser to direct the old. Go easy, she's stubborn and dramatic. My CV clearly stated actor, not compactor. Thank you, Viola. Great energy. First, listen out for the required salvage. I will. <laughs> three gems. And three batteries. Move the pointer to direct Viola over this pile to grab some salvage. You can haul up to five pieces of salvage at once. For now, take these gems to the central furnace. Get it! Now, there are three types of salvage. Cogs, which go to the right furnace. Batteries, which go to the left. Okay. And gems, which go to the center. Gems are the most valuable, and will provide a score bonus when you deliver the right amount. Meanwhile, delivering the right amount of cogs will provide a temporary multiplier bonus. Uh -huh. Don't worry. If you pick up the wrong type, Viola will dump it at the next open furnace to make space. Isn't that right? Ah. To the flames! Quiet! Now you've woken the locals. If they catch you, these thermionic crabs will steal your salvage. Steer clear of them, as well as any mines or glue. Arcadians chuck all kinds down here. Okay. Finally, grab these batteries and deliver them to the left furnace. Delivering the right amount of batteries will provide a shield, protecting you from the next three hits. Huh. That's the basics. Let's get to work. Okay. I want four dogs. Oh, shit. Ooh. Hey, he's like camping. I think that was like the best mini game so far. <laughs> Duke of the Dregs. 
Right, down to brass tacks. And your results are... inconclusive. <laughs> I'm sorry if my arms made you nervous. I'm referring you to the Human Detection Division. You're welcome to repeat anything here, but eventually you'll have to speak to Nereza. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not like you can hide in a scrapyard forever pretending to be the foreman. <laughs> They suspect nothing. Right. Go away. Huh. Splendid sunshine outside. Well, I think we'll stop right here. Um, you have like five parts to this game, which is pretty cool. So it would be like 20 mini games. Mm -hmm. And then you have the end of the game. <laughs> it's fun. In the beginning, I thought it'd be like pretty whatever game, kinda. But I guess it kinda picks up uh, in uh, the momentum, kinda. So I like this fucking headset today. Don't, don't want to cooperate. I think I just fucked up the position somehow. I don't know. It's just that happens. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I, I, I thought it, it, like, in the beginning, it was like, uh, whatever, it's just, like, some stupid game. Uh, but, like, with playing more and more, it seems uh, more and more fun, kind of. Uh, which is good for them. <laughs> um, I think I will play it more, it's just that I uh, want to try out everything, and then, if I will have time, like, I will, like, complete I guess things. It's not like, I mean, I completed Lance and so whatever. Battle of Kings is uh, oh, uh, the completion. Oof. And Toy Crush, Jesus Christ. But it, but this is pack napping seems uh, like uh, more uh, uh, probable that I will finish the whole game. It seems like it's the whole game. Yeah, it is actually the whole game. Uh, and it's kind of like a bit of a story driven, so that's cool also to just like, you know, be more immersed into the game. Not through, I guess, I'm, I'm not sure if in the storyline exactly, but <laughs> it's uh, this type of the thing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty cool. For a Go game, I mean, the, the concept to have a, a mini games in a game seems interesting. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's in a style of every kind of like, you know, Go game. You complete the levels with uh, a number of stars. Here's just a rating of from the C to A+, plus, I think, or D. I don't, I don't remember. Um, it's all about the com level completion and then, like, progression. It's like pretty much every game I see has this same system. But it's just that interpreted it in a a bit different way, but it's still the same concept, so I guess that works. Uh, yeah, I will, I think I will play it more and uh, I will record it more. But we have other things to um, try out. But we are slimming down in the content finally, so and then I will um, seriously pick up something else. Uh, still nothing uh, new on the quest store. It's fucking sad at this point. <laughs> it's like that. Okay, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see the next one. <laughs>